Jimmy, come on in, come in. You wanted to see me, Mr. Carter? I sure did. Well, it's about the 50000 I owe you. I don't have it. Oh, well, uh, in that case, Jimmy, uh, maybe you shouldn't be allowed at the roulette tables again until you paid up. Eh? Oh, but uh, Mr. Carter, you can't do that to me. My luck will change. Oh, give me a chance, will a you? A chance? Oh, come now, Jimmy. You're renting me for 50000 But, uh... I'll tell you what I will do. What? Your brother Sammy is one of the best baseball players in the league, right? Well, sure, but what's he got to do with this? Look, I don't want him to know, you understand. I, I don't want him to know I've been gambling. Oh, he won't. He won't, Jimmy. Now, uh, if you introduce your brother to a certain young lady, I'll forget that you owe me a dime. How's that? Just to... Introduce my brother to a girl, and you'll tear up my IOUs for that? Yeah. Gee, I don't get it. You don't have to. But uh, I don't get my 50000 either. What do you say? Well, golly, Mr. Carter, I don't know what this is all about. But you'll do it, huh? Nah, that's being a good boy, Jimmy. That's being a smart boy, too. Yeah, maybe uh, the smartest you've ever been. <laughs> And now, on to Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy. Friend to those who have no friend. Come in. Hello, Joe. Uh, oh. Hello, Carter. <laughs> Maybe, uh... You're surprised to see me, huh? Oh, no, no. I'm glad to see you, Carter. I thought you were sore at me. Uh, maybe uh, I forgot what I was sore about. That's good. I hoped you would. Sure, Joe. I don't hold a grudge. Guy's got a right to make a mistake once in a while. Of course, you overdid it, but... What are you doing, writing a letter? Well, I, I ah, was... that's pretty tight, man. Nice and clear. Yeah, I'm using a brand new ribbon. I just put it in. Uh-huh. Maybe uh, you're going to write a long letter, huh? Too bad you'll never finish it. Uh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe Joe wouldn't want to be caught dead with this paper and his typewriter. And uh, maybe he won't mind if I use his phone. Yeah. Maybe I'll hold you just as I told you, maybe you'll like it, but why is it maybe, maybe he's the most... Hello? Oh, uh, Mike, this is Carter. Has Jimmy arranged for his brother to meet that girl? I'm going to make you very happy, boss. It's all set. Uh, maybe uh, we're in business again then, Mike. I've taken care of everything here, too. But uh, guess what Joe was doing when I walked in. I'm not good at guessing, boss. He must have known he was in a jam. He was typing a letter to Boston Blackie. To Blackie, huh? To Blackie, uh huh. I've taken the paper out of the typewriter and I'm going to burn it. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, maybe I was with you for the past two hours, Mike. Huh? You see, uh, somebody just killed Joe Ash, and I don't want to be blamed for killing him just because I did. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen You should have seen Inspector Faraday's face When I walked into his office, Mary Oh, now, Blackie, why do you tease the inspector? You know you like him Sure I do And I like working on his police cases But I 
can't help needling him. Honestly, I can't. He practically asks for it oh. just because he's on a case and he hasn't asked for me. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Blackie. If that's <laughs> Inspector Faraday at the door, I don't want you to tease him. <laughs> well, I'll try not to. Come in. Well, boss and Blackie? Yes, come in. Blackie, I- I'm Jimmy Saunders. You don't know me, but you heard of my brother, Sammy Saunders? Slamming Sammy Saunders, the rookie baseball sensation? Yeah. Well, why didn't you bring your brother along? I'd like to meet him. Oh, excuse me. This is Miss Wesley, Mr. Saunders. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Saunders? I do. Well, what's in your mind, Jimmy? Well, Blackie, I'm in a jam. You know Rolly Carter, the gambler? What about him? Well, I owed him $50,000, but he canceled the debt because of a favor I did him. You can do someone a $50,000 favor? You're in a bigger league than your brother. Blackie, all I did for Carter was introduce my brother to a girl named Catherine Gray. And, and now I'm sure I did something wrong. You sure did, Jimmy. Carter's probably working on your brother to keep his eyes on Catherine Gray and off the ball. You, you mean throw games? That's right. But I'll put a stop to that. Your brother will really start swinging his bat around when I start throwing my weight around. <laughs> You going two for four again today, Harry? <laughs> two for four, Sam? Uh, it's nothing to you. You don't go four for five, you think you ought to be benched. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I almost forgot there's a man outside the locker room who wants to see you. Somebody to see me? Well, now, what's somebody want to see me about? I wouldn't know, son. Well, I'll find out. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Guy probably wants your photograph. Gosh, I hope so. <laughs> well, hello. Do you want to see me? Yes, Sammy, I sure did. I'm Boston Blackie. Boston Blackie? Well, this sure is a mighty great pleasure. <laughs> I sure have admired you, Mr. Blackie. Thanks. But, uh, look, uh, you're heading for trouble, Sammy. Yesterday you met a girl named Catherine Gray, didn't you? <laughs> I sure did. And she sure is good to look at. <laughs> she can cook, too. <laughs> uh, Sammy, listen. That girl is being hired by Ruley Carter, a gambler, to talk you into throwing games. Oh, now, wait a minute. That's a lie. And you say anything else like wait that a minute, about Miss Sammy, Gray. Wait a minute, Sammy. Use those hands of yours to swing a bat, not to swing punches. Well, nobody's saying anything against Miss Gray. And nobody's saying I'll throw any ball games. Because I ain't throwing a ball game for anybody. And you're lucky I don't throw you right out that door. It's low and on the inside for a count of two and two. It's the last of the ninth inning with the score tied at two all. In fact, this entire game is a twos for the moment. Hello, Mary. Uh, I finally made it. How's the game going? Oh, I don't know. Is it tied or something? And your friend Bill Slater is talking about uh, nine something. Well, Slater means the ninth inning. Right? Tied, I think. Well, let's see what happens now. What do you expect to happen? I expect Saunders to throw the game if he gets a chance. Hey. Hey, did you hear, did you hear what Slater said? It's the last half of the ninth, and Jones is on second base with a winning run. Is that good? It's perfect. Saunders comes to bat now, and uh, let's listen. Yes, it's the last half of the ninth, and the score is tied at two all. New York has the winning run on second base with two out, and slamming Sammy Saunders is coming to bat. Oh, Blackie, is this where Saunders can throw the game? There's a wonderful opportunity for him to win. Now, a hit here means the ball game for New York, and Saunders is overdue. Cross your fingers, Mary. All right, but I wish I knew what for. Yes, a hit now, and it's all over. Now, here comes the pitch. And it's a long drive to left. It's going. It's up against the wall. Well, ah, that's it, folks. Saunders well. smashed to left to sent Jones across the plate with the winning run, and the ball game is over. Oh, that's that. Mind if I turn the radio off? No, go right ahead. Yes, it's New York by a score of three to two, thanks to that. Well, Blackie, he didn't throw the game. No, he won it, Mary, and that's bad. I thought you didn't want him to throw it. I didn't. That would have been bad for the game, but because he got that hit, it's going to be bad for him. Oh. Carter will kill him for that double cross. Unless. Unless what? Unless I don't know what this is all about. Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm wrong about... Come in. Sir, the homebody's home. And nobody's come to see him. I'm in Faraday, but you're getting out. Sure. When I'm ready to leave... Oh, now, 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 Blackie, you promised you'd be nice to Inspector Faraday. What? And spoil a beautiful friendship? What Friendship. Blackie, do you know a guy named Joe Ash? No, I don't know him. I don't feel a bit badly about it. Why? Well, he knew you. He was starting to write something, but your name was all he wrote. If you didn't know him, why did you kill him, Blackie? Well, what makes you think I killed him? Your name on that typewriter ribbon. He was typing the name of his killer. 
Of course, you were smart enough to destroy the paper Joe Ash was writing on, but you forgot about the ribbon. Only I was smart enough to think to look at the ribbon and read what was on it. Don't you think I might have been smart enough to think of the ribbon, too, if I saw what he was writing? All right, all right. You didn't kill him. But even if your name was on that ribbon, I don't want you on this case. Now, don't leave your apartment, see? Did you hear what I said? Don't leave. Well, Mary, you heard what Faraday said, didn't you? Yeah. He said, don't leave. Hey, Blackie, where are you going? Me? Oh, I'm leaving. Oh, Sammy, you're a darling to help me with the dishes. Oh, I'll do the chores all by myself if you'll let me, Miss Gray, honey. Oh, <laughs> oh that was a mighty fine meal you cooked, especially that cake. Oh. Sure will miss you when we go on the road after tomorrow's game. Well, I'll miss you, Sammy. Where's the team going first? St. Louis. Mm. <laughs> I like it in St. Louis. I get home runs there. Well, I hope you get lots of them, darling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you do me a favor? Well, I'm mighty glad to do anything for you, Miss Gray. Well, I have a friend in St. Louis. She used to live with me and loved my cakes. Would you bring one to her? Why, sure. Mighty glad to. Just bring it down to the ballpark tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I certainly will, and thanks. Well, all the dishes are done, thanks to your help, Sammy. Mighty nice of you to let me help you, Miss Gray, honey. <laughs> well, now we got lots of time to sit and talk, ain't we? Uh, well, uh, uh, it's getting rather late, Sam, and there's an important game tomorrow. Yeah, I reckon you're right. I'll just go out the back way here. It's closer to the bus. <laughs> Night, Miss Gray. Good night, Sammy, and thanks for helping me. Thanks for letting me. Sure was a pleasure. <laughs> Night. Maybe you love me. Maybe think of me. Maybe I like it, but I don't mean maybe. He's gone, honey. <laughs> or should I call you Mr. Carter when we're talking business? <laughs> maybe you should. <laughs> Everything worked out all right, huh, baby? Oh, we have him just where we want him, honey. He'll never know what it's all about. Maybe uh, nobody else will ever know either. Everything's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, <sighs> Certainly is. Yeah. Joe can't double cross us because he's dead. And uh, Boston Blackie's going to take the rap for his murder. And uh, <laughs> best of all. <laughs> I know, sweetheart. Our hopeless hitter of home runs. Yeah. Best of all, Sammy Saunders is up to his batting eye in a racket. And he doesn't have any idea what it's all about. And now back to Boston Blackie. <laughs> Jimmy Saunders loses $50,000 at roulette. Ruley Carter, owner of the gambling house, cancels Jimmy's debts when Jimmy introduces his ball-playing brother, Sammy, to a beautiful girl named Catherine Gray. Blackie suspects that Sammy is being railroaded into throwing ball games. But even after meeting the girl, Sammy continues to hit. Meanwhile, a man named Joe Ash is murdered by Carter. And the evidence indicates Boston Blackie might be the killer. Inspector Faraday, however, is convinced of Blackie's innocence. And as we return to our story, Blackie pays a visit to Rudy Carter's gambling den. I'm thinking you're not smart, Jimmy. I'm telling you. You know you can't beat the roulette wheel. I can if I get lucky, Mike. That's why I came down here at noon before anybody else got here. Maybe alone I can do something for myself. You're betting against the house, kid. I'm telling you, the house always wins. Oh, I'll get a win. Stop that Don't wheel, worry. Jimmy. Stop it. Huh? Oh, hello, Blackie. I'm oh, familiar with the face, but I haven't seen it in here before. What do you want, Blackie? Two very simple things, Mike. First of all, I want to see Ruley Carter. He's not here. Oh. Well, then, I'll at least get the second thing I came for. Something that occurred to me as I stood in the doorway and watched Jimmy play the wheel here. And your right foot go to work. What do you mean, what? my right foot go to work? Simply that this wheel is crooked. You can control the number you want the ball to stop at. What? Oh, it's an old gimmick, Mike. 
Why, they've been cheating me. They certainly haven't been giving you a fair shake. Look, Jimmy. See yeah. that little ball that goes around? Mm-hmm. There's a metal... Stop center. wising up the sucker, Blackie. Nobody's going to love you for that. I'm so worried. Jimmy, listen. Yeah? There's a magnet in this table. When Mike touches a button with his foot, the magnet attracts the ball and falls into a space nowhere near the number you're betting on. Want me to show you? Yeah. Here, bend down with me. Oh, Blackie, gosh, I told you Blackie. nobody's going to love you, and I wasn't kidding. I'm going to mess you up for this, Blackie. You mean you're going to try it? To... <laughs> sucker. Blackie... Maybe we just made some trouble for ourselves. Well, that wasn't trouble, Jimmy. That was fun. Hey, what's going on? Oh. Blackie. Hello, Carter. I was told you weren't in. What brings you down here, Blackie? A little workout, that's all. I think your stooge Mike is a little under the weather and the table. What's the real reason, Blackie? I'll tell you. Joe Ash is dead. You knew him, didn't you? Yeah. Just uh, hang around, I think. Mm, that's one of the things he did. Everybody knows he also fenced stolen jewelry. I wouldn't know about that. I suppose you're going to tell me you didn't even know him. Maybe I've met him. Maybe you had a little run-in with him, too. That's why I came down here. I thought you'd be happy to know he's out of circulation. Maybe I am. And uh, maybe I don't like guys coming into my place without an invitation. And uh, maybe you know what this is in my hand, Blackie. Yes, it's a gun. And maybe you know what's on my mind, Carter. I don't know and I don't care. So suppose you get out of here and stay out. And when I say stay out, that's one time I don't mean maybe. Hello. Hello, Mary. Oh, hello, Blackie. Hey, I've been waiting for your call. For how long? Well, I'm 23 years old. (laughs) And 23 years cute. Hmm. Mary, I found out something, and I want to find out a little more from a certain Miss Catherine Gray. Hey, Blackie, you stay away from her. I understand she's beautiful. Hmm, Possibly, but Mary, Carter is using Sammy Saunders in some kind of a racket, and I've got to find out what it is. Well, if you're going to find out from Catherine Gray, I'm going with you. Oh, no, you're not. One beautiful girl at a time is all I can stand. Goodbye. Now, will you beat it, Blackie? I got introduced to Sammy Saunders because I wanted to meet him. And that's all. I'm sorry, I can't believe that's all, Miss Gray. What's cooking? And I don't mean what's up. I'm baking a cake. Oh, the domestic side. You don't look at it. The complaint department is closed. Goodbye, Blackie. I'll say goodbye if you'll be a good girl and tell me why Carter wanted Sammy Saunders to meet you. Oh, come to me. I hope it's who I think it is. Maybe he'll shut you up. Come in. Well, howdy, Miss Gray. uh... Oh, it's you again, huh? Yes, me again. Sammy, throw this guy out of here. Yes, I sure will, Miss Gray. This fella tried to say I'd throw a baseball game. Well, I'll... Take it easy, Sammy. Take it easy. I admit I was wrong about that. That hit you got yesterday won the ball game. Yes, it sure did. (laughs) Well, Miss Gray, you ready to go on down to the ballpark with me? I, I would have been ready before, but but this guy kept bothering me. Oh, bothering Miss Gray, huh? Well, Blackie, I'm going to be mighty nice to you and just warn you this time, but next time I'm sure going to let you have it. Sammy, I still think before that you're making... Before I go, I might knock the cover off you, Blackie. Yes, sir. Now, Miss Gray, you got that cake ready for me to take to St. Louis with me tomorrow? Uh-huh, it'll be ready in just a few minutes. Oh, you've decided to leave, have you, Blackie? So soon? I've heard all I wanted to hear, Miss Gray, and that's all I wanted to know. Hi, Bill. Busy? Blackie. Well, hello there. No, I'm not busy. Just waiting for the lineups. Come on in, fella. Glad to see you. Thanks, Bill. Just dropped in to say hello. You want to sit up here in the booth with me when the game starts, Blackie? You can watch me broadcast the play by play, and I might even put you on the air between innings. <laughs> Today's baseball by Bill Slater in Boston, Blackie. <laughs> no thanks, Bill. You're on your own. Who's going to win today? Who's slamming Sammy playing for? I see what you mean. Bill, do you know a guy named Ruley Carter? Well, just well enough to hate him by his first name. Why? I imagine he comes out here to the game every day. Know where he sits? Sure. He's got a box of his own. Straight down the line there toward home plate from this broadcasting booth. Why? I'm going to want to see him later. Uh, Thanks for the dope, Bill. Well, it's no trouble at all. Uh, Drop in again, Blackie, any old time. Thanks, Bill. I'll do that. So long. 
So, Rory Carter... Was... Oh. Hey, why don't you watch where you're going? Well, if it isn't Inspector Faraday... You, huh? And if it isn't, I've got bad news for whoever you are because yeah. you look like the inspector. Blackie, don't you remember I told you to stay in your apartment till I found out who killed Joe Ash? Yes, I remember it, Faraday, but I also remember that it was a ball game today, and I can't resist a ball game any more than I can resist solving your cases for you. Oh, I suppose you know who killed Joe Ash, huh? Stay right here with me, Faraday, and I'll not only tell you who killed Joe Ash... I'll show you a racket that will simply kill you. Your attention, please. Your attention, please. This is Bill Slater with the batting orders for today's game. Uh, for New York, place, Captain. Right. Well, first well, maybe you should have given Sammy Saunders that cake before the game. Want me to take it? Uh-uh, I don't mind carrying it, Rowley. Besides, if it was left in the locker room, the players might have helped themselves. <laughs> you might have a point there. Oh, here we are. Oh. Yeah, certainly going to enjoy this game. Maybe uh, you are too, huh? With everything worked out to absolute perfection? Oh, I should say so, darling. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't you want me to put that cake under the chair? Uh, no, really. I'll hold it in my lap. It'll be safer. Maybe it'll be safer in my lap. What? Come on, Faraday. I'm here. Oh, Blackie, you again. Yes, but for the last time, I think. I'll take that cake. You'll take nothing. Look out, Blackie. Carter has a gun. Well, let him have something else. Maybe this'll do. Oh. Nice going, Faraday. That sock took the cake. And now, Miss Gray, I'll take this cake. No, you don't... Go with that. Sorry. I'm awful oh. sorry. There we are. Now, let's see what kind of a cake this is. Blackie, this is no time to look at a cake. This isn't any time to look at a cake, Faraday. It's time to look into one. I told you I'd break this case for you, and I'll start by breaking this cake. No, don't. Really, don't let him. Let him try to stop oh. me. Hmm, six strawberries on top. Well, that must mean six of something inside. What do you mean, Blackie? Maybe he doesn't know what he means, Copper. I won't tell you. I'll show you after I break it open. Uh, there. Look what's inside the cake. Six beautiful blue-white diamonds. And what diamonds? Check these, and I think you'll find they're stolen, Faraday. I've got an idea. The cold icing on this cake covered some awfully hot ice. <laughs> Gosh, there's a sure mighty good cake that Miss Gray baked. <laughs> sure you don't want some of it, Blackie? <laughs> no, thanks, Sammy. Go ahead and enjoy yourself. Oh, this is mighty good cake. <laughs> you want a piece, Miss Wesley? Uh-uh, not me. I've got to watch my figure. Yeah, sure is something to watch, Miss Wesley. <clears throat> mm, this is good cake. <laughs> Sammy, don't you understand? I found six stolen diamonds inside that cake. Yeah, so I heard. <laughs> Funny place for diamonds, ain't it? <laughs> Very good place for them when they're stolen, Sammy, and need to be taken to a fence. What's anybody taking a cake to a fence for? All the fences is good for us to knock home runs over. Uh, Now, Sammy, the kind of fence Blackie is talking about is a person who buys and sells stolen goods. Oh, is that right? I never heard of that kind of fence. And I never heard of a more perfect way to move stolen goods around the country than the one in which Carter was trying to use you. Mr. Carter was trying to make me do something wrong? Why, I'll bat that guy to the scoreboard and tell him what I... I'll say he was trying to use you, Sammy. And no one would have ever suspected you of working for him either. You see, a ball player is just about the only person who can, well, you can count on being in a certain city at a certain time. On certain days you play in St. Louis, and on certain days you play in Chicago. On other days you have to be in Boston and Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. Well, I sure can hit home runs in Pittsburgh. <laughs> you can be met by someone buying Carter stolen goods in Pittsburgh, too. And no one has to worry about whether or not you'll be there, because where the team goes, you go. And everybody has access to the entire season's schedule to know beforehand just where you'll be. So, you see why Mr. Carter was using you to carry and deliver his stolen jewelry and those cakes, don't you? Nope. No? Well, he, he always knew where you'd be, and his fences always knew where to meet you. And since you were there because of a ball game, why, no one would ever suspect you were traveling for Mr. Carter, too. Well, I wouldn't do anything for that, Mr. Carter. I was carrying those cakes for Miss Gray. <laughs> She was mighty pretty. Mighty near as pretty as you, Miss Wesley. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Don't let good looks fool you, Sammy. Miss Gray was mixed up with a murderer, you know. Yeah, I read something about Mr. Carter killing a Mr. Ash. Well, Ash was killed because Carter formally used him to take stolen jewelry out of the city, and Carter thought Ash was about to double-cross him. Well, gosh... Sure am glad you found out all this, Blackie. But Carter made one mistake. He tried to frame me. You know his box score? No hits, no runs, one error. 